your girl miss key coming at you with a new video and today i'm going to be filming um for you the last days of my green smoothie cleanse what happened how i felt all uh, the ins and outs of what went down first off um you guys i just uploaded a couple days ago day six and seven so i'm gonna talk about day eight nine and ten now i'm not gonna lie i have been off the green smoothie cleanse um since last tuesday was my last official day with not being on the cleanse and we're gonna get into that if i lost weight at the end of this video you'll learn everything but let's talk about my last three days so day eight was not that bad i didn't have any issues as far as my stomach was concerned um that was was one of the issues I had all through the cleanse but I didn't have any issues um I felt pretty energized but I have to say the more I was off doing my cleanse I had a harder time than if I had to work if I had to work it wasn't that bad it was just when I was off I was bored or if I didn't have anything to do I would just I would want to eat um, so going to day nine, day nine was exciting because I knew I only had one more day left. So I think I was pretty much energized. I was happy. I was like, yes, I got a whole day, y'all. I was excited to eat. Day 10 was amazing because I knew my last day was that day. So I was really happy. I was really excited. Now I got off the cleanse and I literally went to the grocery store that day of day 10 so that I could like pick out some healthier foods from my household. Now let me tell y'all, when I went to the grocery store, I felt lost guys. And the reason why I felt lost is because after doing this cleanse, during my cleanse, I realized that I wanted to eat um, as, um, as vegan as possible, if that makes any sense. That means I didn't want to eat any deep meats, any dairy. I just wanted to eat as healthy as possible um, after my cleanse so I can keep up with everything. But when I, when, I go, when I went to the grocery store, everything has chicken in it. Everything has so many things in it. And I'm, I'm looking at stuff and I'm looking at ingredients. And it just, it wasn't all great ingredients. And I'm just like, what am I going to do? So I end up always um, picking up a salad, guys. And who want to eat salad all the time? Not I. I want to pick out some other stuff. So um, I decided to like kind of meal prep some stuff. And I end up making, I think, a... Um, I don't think I ended up making anything the first day, I ended up making some the day two after my cleanse. So um, overall, the cleanse was was okay. Like it wasn't my favorite thing to do, but I, I didn't have. I don't think it was the worst thing I could ever do for my body. Now let's talk about weight loss. Um, I did lose 13 pounds. Now, I'm not truly comfortable about sharing with you how much I weigh. Um, but if you can see, I'm a little thick, okay? <laughs> so, I did lose 13 pounds. Now, when I weighed myself, I did have my shoes, so I could have been a little, uh, maybe a pound less. But it was 230 something, okay? And I lost about 13 pounds. So, I want to keep that off and I want to add to that and lose, well, I want to lose more, not add to it, lose more, if you know what I mean, um, and be under 200 pounds. That's like my ultimate goal is to be under 200 pounds. So I'm working on it. I'm still um, eating healthier, making better choices, drinking more water, all that good stuff. Now, let's talk about the green smoothie cleanse in a whole. In a whole, I enjoyed the cleanse. It was okay. It wasn't a horrible thing I did, but I do realize that it helped me. It helped me realize what I wanted because I think when I first started this cleanse, I just wanted to learn how to eat better in a sense of like, you know, just eating better every day. But I realized that I do want to lose a little more weight than I thought I did. I realized I do want to eat healthier. I do want to eat less meat. Um... I don't, I really, in the beginning of the cleanse, I want to be like vegan. Like I was like, no more meat, no, no, no. Now I'm like, meat's not that bad, but maybe like once a week, twice a week won't hurt me to eat a little bit of like chicken and then maybe some seafood in between, but that's just about it for me. Um, I do feel like that this cleanse has made me realize um, how unhealthy I, I eat and how much sweets I eat um, because not having it for 10 days is like what and it made me realize my bad eating habits like 
something I'm dealing with now that I'm out on the cleanse is every time I eat, I need something sweet behind it. Like if I eat a good meal, it could be healthy. And I'm like, oh, I need a cookie. Oh, I need a, I need a, I need a Kit Kat. I need a Snicker. And I'm like, Keisha, you cannot do that. That's not how it's going to be. That's not okay. Like, and that's what I realized during the green smoothie cleanse. And I realized I was way strict on myself during the cleanse. I did what I was supposed to do. I didn't cheat. I was 100% on the cleanse. But now that I'm not on the cleanse, I have a hard time, like, telling myself no. So, I think the first day after the cleanse, I think I had a cookie. And I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Like, during the cleanse, I did so well. I didn't cheat. I didn't do anything unhealthy. I ate what they told me to eat during the cleanse. But as soon as the cleanse is over with, I'm like, okay, I can get me a cookie now, y'all. Or I can eat this. And I'm like, Keisha, that's not okay. So I do realize that having something as structured as the green smoothie cleanse really helped me because I'm having a harder time now staying focused. Um, and so one thing with that being said, I'm going to do the cleanse again. Um, it is now January. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me see. I'm using my phone to film this. It is January 24th and um, March, I believe the first, we're gonna be, I'm gonna do the cleanse again. So for the next month, I am gonna be just working out, which I started day before yesterday, if I'm gonna leave. Yeah, day before yesterday, I started working out and then I'm gonna eat as healthy as possible. I'm sorry, somebody text me. Um, what really was me is my work group text. But anyways, so um, um, I'm going to be eating as healthy as possible for the next month. I'm counting my calories, which is another subject on its own. I'm drinking way more water. I feel like I'm drinking more water now than I did during the cleanse, which is crazy too. I'm drinking my water. I'm exercising um, at home. I do have a gym in the apartment complex I live in, but um, I can't. I don't know if I'm, <laughs> I just haven't been able to go. I am walking more. Um, if you have an Android, don't judge me because Android life forever. Um, you know about, um, well, we have a Samsung. I have a Samsung Health, which is helping me like, count my calories, all that good stuff. Um, I use the app now frequently. I add my water in there, my calories, all that good stuff. So overall, guys, the Green Smoothie Cleanse did help me in multiple ways, from losing weight to teaching me different things I did not know about myself. Um, I enjoyed the cleanse. Like I said, it was okay. It wasn't like the best thing ever, but I don't. I don't think it didn't harm me in any way. Now I do say this. Let me say this before I forget. My stomach is not the same. Let me say that. My stomach is not the same. The reason why I said it is because even I did not eat meat. I um, I think today, which is January 24th, is the first time I've eaten chicken or any type of meat in about three to four weeks. And y'all, my stomach just not the same. It hurts more than usual like it just it just randomly hurts or if i eat too much of one thing it hurts or um a few days ago me and my boyfriend went to the, to the movies and i got popcorn it hurts after i ate the popcorn so i'm like my body's not used to all the bad foods and it's not necessarily not used to it because of course i've eaten those things before but it's not i have been drinking only drinking I'm eating only like you know smoothies and like healthy like carrots and and celery and apples so my body was like girl put the popcorn out of there so my, my stomach is not the same which is not a bad thing but I guess it's teaching me like girl you don't need this in your system my body is telling me that so I need to listen so I have been eating a lot healthier but I am fighting the urge to um not eat sweets that's the hardest thing for me not eating sweets so I'm just trying to find an alternative like maybe like mini muffins um like mini muffins, like uh, rice cakes, and I put bananas on top of a little honey. Just different alternatives so it's not so horrible for myself. Um, what else, guys? Um, I had an amazing time, I guess. Amazing-ish, okay time, I guess. Let me not lie. It wasn't that amazing, but it was okay. Um, I enjoyed the cleanse to an extent because it did help me lose 13 pounds. And your girl is feeling real good about that 13 pounds. Um, hopefully the next time I come back after you, um, you'll know, uh, if I lost any more. 
with that being said guys i do have a couple more videos up for, um, that i'm gonna be doing for you guys y'all all know i love spicy noodle challenges and i bought just a couple days ago the mala and i'm only gonna do it once because i just feel like that's not healthy for me to be eating but i really want to try it so i'll be doing that but i'll also be keeping you um updated on my health journey and i will be trying to show you guys meal prepping because this sunday i will be meal prepping um food for the week basically to um, keep myself eating healthy and keep myself on a strict diet so if you have any questions about the green smoothie cleanse feel free to ask me i will answer to my best ability if you have any questions about my weight loss and all that any all that good jazz feel free to, um to comment down below become a subscriber so you can know what's going on in your girl's life um thank you guys for watching i appreciate it you have a good day bye